I. Do you remember the days when the church was packed full to capacity? I do. Do you remember the days when petrol pump stations were shut on a Sunday? I do. Do you remember on Sundays stores were only allowed open for a certain time? No bottle stores were open. Shops were only allowed to be open till a certain time on a Sunday after the churches closed their doors. I do. I remember the days when churches were back to capacity. They had the morning service and they had the evening service. People used to rush to church. Some had to be turned away because the churches were too full. I remember those days. Do you? Now today, it's totally different. Just for one moment, think of it if COVID was not there. We had a church that was packed capacity. We had the evening service that was packed to capacity. We had the morning service that was also packed capacity. But then we started encountering a problem. People had to start standing outside the church to attend the service because it was getting full. So we started, uh, we had to split the congregation into two. One group would come at 8.30. The, the service would start from 8.30 till 10. Then the next service would start from 10.30 till 12. So we managed to sort out who was going to come for the early morning service and who would come for the later morning service. And then there was that evening service. But then, while well, something went wrong, the attendance just suddenly spiraled downward on the evening service and gradually on the second service story. Then we moved over to a new place before COVID-19. The church was packed to capacity every single Sunday. And the cars were parked inside. There was no more parking inside to accommodate the cars because it's so full. So the cars had to park outside. So other cars had to park outside to get in to the so that the people can get into the church. And that was an awesome time. But then something started to happen. Attendance in the church started to somewhat dwindle. But um, it still, it was filled. Um, so, yes, it was filled. But attendance became less. And parking became more available. It's like people just started losing interest in the church. When there were big sports events like rugby or soccer, suddenly the attendance in the church would drop. Weird, but true. Bottle stores were allowed to now run. Bottle stores were allowed to be opened and to run on a Sunday. Shops were allowed to be opened any time of the day and run their business until a certain time of the night. They run until 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, even 11 o'clock in the evening. So bottle stores were open until what? 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock in the evening. Where's the godly principles? Gone out by the door, it seems to me. Now, with COVID-19, there are regulations in place concerning people entering a store and people attending service. With our church, we had to split it into two groups so that the congregation can attend the service. So we've got group one that attend that Sunday and then group two attend the following Sunday. So we accommodated people in the church in accordance to the COVID-19 protocol. They attended, but I noticed something today. Church still gets packed, is still full of people within accordance. Let's use an example. Say now, our church only allows 250 people per service. Yes, all 250 attended. 
in the first uh, the first group and believe me the second group the following sunday also all 250 for social distancing reasons also attended wow nice but today my eyes were opened to something as i said the bottle stores are allowed to operate on a sunday but now there's certain hours they are only allowed to operate on the Sunday because of COVID-19. Stores are allowed to open, be open from a certain time to a cert certain time in the morning till a certain time in the afternoon. Even if, it, if, they were, even if there was no COVID-19, right? People, the church, I noticed churches around me, the attendance has dwindled. It has come down. Fewer and fewer people in other surrounding churches. The attendance is leaving more and more. Em the seats are getting more and more empty in the churches. Uh, w when it comes to attendance. And I noticed, but the bottle stores. How people push and shove for parking to get into a queue for a bottle store really to buy and purchase alcohol why don't people push their way in to get into a church to attend the service but instead they push their way in to get into a bottle store people rush for a queue to get into a store so that they don't have to wait long and get what they need for the new week it's a shame that people are so lost they are so lost and now watch how they don't care even about the pedestrians as long as they can get into that parking to stand in the bottle store to get into the bottle store's queue and purchase alcohol before the bottle store closes and some of the motorists they climb out of their cars they don't even look out for oncoming traffic they just dash across the road to get to the bottle store to purchase alcohol I almost knocked a pedestrian over this uh, morning after the service who ran across the road just to get to the bottle store because when I got to the shopping center there he was standing in the long queue waiting his turn to enter the store to buy uh, alcohol and when I almost knocked him over he gave me a very dirty look as if to say I must pay attention when he ran smack bang in front of me is it worth sacrificing your li life for wine? I don't think so and all I saw was people that are lost. They've got a lifestyle they want to live, but church is not part of it. Attending church is not part of it because if they had attended church, you would see the clothing that they're wearing, they were in church. But you can see it's people in casual wear, standing in queues to purchase wine, standing in queues to enter the store to purchase food. And I thought, my word, how far have we dwelt from God? We have more time for other stuff. But we have very little time for God. We've got time to get up early in the morning on the weekend to watch a sport, our favorite sport on television or on our mobile phones. But we don't have the time to get up early in the morning to spend time with God. How many of us get up early in the morning to spend time with God in prayer before we leave our homes and get on with the day and earn our keep? I, I was just, I just saw people, I couldn't believe what I saw. How people were standing outside bottle stores in queues. And I think to myself, if only they know God and stood in flocks outside waiting for the next service to enter the church and to hear about the kingdom of God. 